this video I'm just going to show you how to use brushes from graphicextras.com pack 173 in Photoshop CS6 uh, also for CS5 etc etc um, to use them to create uh, comic book strips or comic book pages now of course you can create comic book pages in numerous ways but this is uh, just one approach I can think of. right I'm just going to go now to Photoshop and I've pre-created a panelled design here I've just created obviously the the actual gutters for the the actual panels so obviously you can vary the panels but this is actually using guidelines and if you go to the view and new guide there you can actually create a guide obviously just position so if you position it zero there then you can just drag along using this this tool here just drag it down so you can just basically create a nice uniform thing of course you can actually save this as a psd file and just use as a template for uh, future comic books so now I'm just going to cancel here. Now you could also use a selection and use this feature here to add to the selection so you can build an entire selection or you can just do obviously panels selection for each of those. So I'm just going to just drag out selection here and that's the first panel and it actually snaps to the, uh, the guidelines. That's the whole purpose of the guidelines. Very useful. So now once I've done that, go over to the brushes and in this case, like I said, I'm using these uh, brushes from Graphic Extras. They're actually in PNG files, but to, to actually load them in all in one go, I've actually used an action file. I, I include in the set a selection of action files. And there's a whole range of different uh, brushes that come with the set. So uh, there's a whole selection there. And you can use them, like I say, to create a quick comic book. Obviously nothing uh, particularly amazing. And obviously you can, uh, you know, obviously create your own brushes of uh, using various tools. So I'm just going to quickly draw up now the first panel. And it's going to have look, sort of maybe a person running, looking, worried about something. Obviously some action scene, obviously to make it more. And then occasionally have, of course, close-up shots of various faces and whatever. So I'm just going to quickly apply it. And it's actually applied in black. I'm just, of course, I could change the colour. So it just applies there. And because of the selection, it doesn't actually go underneath the uh, side there. So uh, maybe have a someone else into the scene so there's another some side someone else is running away in a different direction a silhouette right so you've got that scene well I've actually got the selection now I can go to the edit and stroke and I'm just gonna go now I'm just gonna use the outside option because if I actually do some changes obviously I just want the, the stroke to be outside of that so they won't be modified or changed by any effect so I'm just gonna there's the actual panel now, finish there. I'm just going to go now, click, select on that. And I'm just going to have another little one. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to click on there. Right. So again, you've got that uniform pattern panel. Now go to the brush tool again. I'm going to select a face. Just like that. Just someone looking over the other direction. Then edit, stroke. Again, another panel and another panel here, maybe a smaller one. I'll just put that one there. Going to the brush tool. And of course you can apply effects as well. So you don't have to just uh, just go with a straight uh, thing. So someone just says talk in this or, or in fear and they've just got, and maybe you could want, you know, maybe blur it. Maybe you don't want to, uh, so, I mean, you don't have to keep it as sharp as maybe like a normal comic page, but you can apply effects, of course. So I'm just going to quickly, as in blur, click OK. So it's sort of fading away there. So, right, once you've done that, you can go now to the another panel and I'm going to create another slightly wider panel and there's lots of different other poses expressions so people are doing various things someone's like dramatically running back into the, the scene there's maybe a, a multiple so lots of a tussle there's a fight scene just there lots of people battling to get away at that point go down there and now I'm actually going to apply a bit of a, an effect to make a little background scene. So again, like I say, you can use other effects. So filter and then render, lens flare or lighting effects. Now I can just quickly apply that. Make it more interesting. 
create a sort of highlight for the uh, design. Move that down into the actual panel. Right, click OK. Right, now that's that done. Takes a few seconds to quickly do that. Right, that's that done. And again, it's still selected, so you can continue with the, uh, the drawing. So you can, uh, and of course, you can rotate the, the design. So obviously, here you've actually got the designs here, but you might want to say maybe angle the person slightly different. So you can go to window, go to brush, bring up the brush, and then of course, you can rotate the design a bit. You don't have to uh, apply the brush as is. So, so maybe do that, change the color, maybe want to. Uh, make a sort of motion or maybe even uh, change opacity so you don't have to uh, sort of make it fade away as it sort of disappears into the thing. Right, so once you've actually done that, and of course you can then, and these ones I didn't actually do a selection around the panel, so you don't have to have that, you can have the, the story sort of. So now I've got a selection, I can go again, stroke, apply OK. Since it's white, it's not going to work. <laughs> Does help. Click OK. Stroke. Right. OK, so now you've got the basic panel of the comic. Right. You could, of course, now at this point, go to the... Uh, and I've been using, obviously, brushes from uh, Graphic Extras, but um, now I'm going to actually use some of the uh, the features that actually come with the program. So I'm uh, just going to go over to the... Uh, here, custom shapes tool, and you'll see a selection of shapes. Now these are ones that come in the all section there. Of course there's a talk bubbles down here, but I've selected all. And I'm actually just going to quickly apply that. And maybe have this person give a thought bubble. Just put a thought bubble over there. Of course, you can change the color of the thought bubble. So I'm just going to quickly go over to the change the stroke, change the color. Okay. And of course, you can add other ones. So now you can actually just apply other shapes, which I'm just going to quickly do. Someone's talking here. They can just sort of create a design over here. other bubbles over here and so on and so on of course then you can also apply layer drop shadow okay right you can flatten that and there you've got the basic comic book of course now you can enter some text yeah run run and so on and so on and of course then you can actually go if you want you can actually go and now apply different effects you can go to image adjustments and I should flatten the image image adjustments and use the color lookup I'm going to give a crisp warm film stock effect and so on and so on there's like literally infinite things you can do with the page of course you can keep the uh, the layers all active so you can of course move things around and of course you can even use layer comps if you wish there's obviously the window layer comps feature so you could actually create a comic book where the panels as well as these other ones are actually movable at any point so you can restructure the comic if you wish the comic page at some future date as well as change the text as well as visibility and many other things